Hey everyone, welcome back. So I get on Twitter today and it is just filled with Democrats and the media losing their minds over an allegedly anti-Semitic hate-filled post on True Social by Trump and are demanding that Republicans denounce it or they're just proving how fascist they are. Before we get into this, let me just set something straight. I don't hate anyone, much less Jewish people. I'm not invested in anti-Semitic conspiracy theories or defending any person who is actually out there spreading hate based on somebody's religion or skin color. But come on, this is total bullshit. No president has done more for Israel than I have. Somewhat surprisingly, however, our wonderful evangelicals are far more appreciative of this than the people of the Jewish faith, especially those living in the US. Those living in Israel though are a different story. Highest approval rating in the world could easily be prime minister. Now here's the part that's really driving them crazy. US Jews have to get their act together and appreciate what they have in Israel before it's too late. Now just check out some of these responses on Twitter. Still waiting on any Republican to condemn Trump's comments. There was a time when implicit threats made against Jews would have been unacceptable. Apparently, no longer, despite the fact that anti-Semitic violence is at an all-time high in the U.S. Before it's too late, not quite sure why or how anti-Semitism has just gone fucking mainstream this week with former president now essentially threatening an entire faith, but well, here we are. Everyone should be speaking out against this madness. The only madness I'm seeing is coming from the media class. There's a lot more than that, but you get the idea. It's almost like these people are purposely misconstruing what Trump said. Gee, where have we seen that before? We also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, excuse me, I saw the same pictures as you did. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Of course, we know this is one of the Democrat state media's favorite games, and as usual, they are playing their part. And we'll get right to that, but first give me 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Hey. Did you know that silver prices are low right now? Investors are selling their holdings because of a turn down in demand. Once fears subside, we could see a surge in demand for silver as customers come back, which is why it's a perfect time to get your silver IRA started right now. And this month you'll get an incredible free three ounce silver American virtue coin with a qualified IRA of $20,000 or higher. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit Noble Gold Invest com. Just remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. Jonathan, really quickly on this anti-Semitic screed that Donald Trump went on uh, yesterday, uh, a lot of observers saying uh, that I saw yesterday, at least conservatives saying this was his worst anti-Semitic rant yet. What makes it anti-Semitic? What makes it the worst? What specifically are you all angry about? No one knows. And, and again, I mean, even even the final line, uh, Jews uh, need to basically get their act together before it's too late. Uh, obviously, uh, deeply disturbing because it's not it's 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 not uh, sending a dog whistle. That's no. that's out and out left. Screaming no, out the loud. thing is. It, oh yes, so loud. Not a single one of you can describe exactly what it is you're upset about. I wanted to start by asking, is the president aware of the comments that Donald Trump made yesterday about American Jews um, basically saying that they're ungrateful and they better get their act together, appreciate what they have before it's too late? Notice that she completely leaves out the context of Israel. We need to root out anti-Semitism everywhere. It rears its ugly head. We need to call this out. That is, unless it's coming from any of the Democrats in the squad. Former president of the United States, today threatened America's Jews. No, he didn't. Before it's too late. Before what is too late? Too late how? Because Israel's surrounded by people who openly want to wipe them off the map. What's actually incredible is that he has been able to get away with this anti-Jewish rhetoric. Maybe somebody can help me out, but I've seen zero evidence of this anti-Jewish rhetoric. Okay, let's just carefully go through this heinous post by literally Hitler. No president has done more for Israel than I have. I don't know if that's exactly true, but he was a big supporter and he did broker a Middle East peace deal with Israel. He also moved the US embassy to Jerusalem. Trump's 
own daughter married a Jewish man, then converted herself. And then there's the whole zero evidence that Trump hates Jewish people at all. They just reference past lies, like that Trump never condemned white supremacists, when in reality, he did it like 50 times. President of the United States, in the year of our Lord 2020, refuses to condemn white supremacists. When he was asked to condemn white supremacists, he didn't. When specifically asked if he would denounce white supremacists, that the president dodged it. Well, I have to say that it's disappointing that a sitting U.S. president can't outright condemn white supremacy. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? You've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. Would you, I'm not would looking you for repudiate David Duke. Sure. David Duke and robocalls are out again. The white supremacist movement supporting you. Uh, do you have any words for that? Well, I disavow. David Duke endorsed me. Okay. Uh, I disavow. Okay. When we looked at it and looked at the question, I disavowed David Duke. So I disavowed David Duke all weekend long on Facebook, on Twitter, and mm -hmm. obviously it's never enough. Just to clear it up this morning, can you naming it? Make a declarative statement that you denounce, that the president denounces. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo Nazis, white supremacists. I spoke out forcefully against hatred, bigotry, and violence, and strongly condemned the neo Nazis, the white supremacists, and the KKK. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. Somewhat surprisingly, however, our wonderful evangelicals are far more appreciative of this than the people of Jewish faith. Well, I think he's just referencing the fact that seven in 10 Jewish Americans support Democrats and the Democrats aren't known for supporting Israel. And you know that's exactly what he meant because of the next line. Those living in Israel though are a different story. Highest approval rating in the world could easily be prime minister. US Jews have to get their act together and appreciate what they have in Israel before it's too late. See, exactly. He's talking about American Jewish support for Israel because Israel is surrounded by countries that openly want to wipe them off the map. So the only thing Trump is doing here is promoting support for the Jewish state. Of course, it's not a threat, but this is yet another operation on behalf of saving democracy by lying and misleading people. They're desperate because back in reality, this is how the public is greeting Democrats and the Bidens. All right, folks, that's all I have to say about that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot.